Increase the wow factor of your videos with customizable backgrounds. Improve a title, frame your screen recording, and add motion to a visual effect. To get started, I have a lower third on my timeline. Instead of the solid background, let's enhance it with a dynamic background. First, select the Library tab, then click on the drop-down next to Dynamic Backgrounds. When you find one you like, click and drag it to the timeline. For this project, I chose Paper Triangles. One of my favorite features of dynamic backgrounds is that they loop seamlessly, so I can click, drag, and make the background as long or short as needed. In the Properties panel, each background has its own unique properties to adjust. I recommend adjusting the sliders until you find a look you love. I like this mosaic look that occurs when I increase the thickness. I'll click and drag the playhead to the start of the clip and press play to preview. Next, let's improve the look of a screen recording by adding a background to frame it. With the screen recording selected on the timeline, go to the Properties panel. Click and drag the Scale slider to reduce the size of the screen recording, which will provide space for the background to appear like a frame. Go to the Library and select a background. I'll use Stripes for this example, which is a still image that is customizable. Click and drag it to the track below the screen recording on the timeline. With the background selected, go to the Properties panel and customize it. I'll select a new color from the dropdown. Click and drag the sliders to view how they change the background's appearance. Make the stripes wavy or straight. Let's preview it. For our last example, let's take dynamic backgrounds to the next level by combining dynamic backgrounds, text, and a visual effect. First, go to Annotations and select one of the text callouts. Click and drag it to the canvas. Select the text on the canvas and update it. Adjust the text box to make room to expand the text. I'd like the letters to be bold and large for this effect. In the Properties panel, I'll select Arial Black and use the Size Slider to increase the font size. Next, go to the Library and choose a dynamic background. I really like Neon Ripple for this example. Click and drag it to a track below the text annotation. Adjust the start and end of each track and make them the same length. To make the background fill the image, go to Visual Effects, click on Media Mat, then drag and drop it onto the text track on the timeline. To preview, move the playhead to the start of the clip and press play. Apply the same effect to logos and shapes. Have fun creating and thanks for watching.